Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all well. Today we have a video dedicated to something that some of you may be surprised about. It's the skinny jeans. And I'm sure, as you know, skinny jeans are probably not as popular as they used to be. Well, they're definitely not as popular as they used to be. People are favoring the straight leg, mom jean, a slouchier leg, a barrel leg. Um, which I personally prefer as well. But actually, I thought today I would challenge myself because I always get questions about skinny jeans. Um, are skinny jeans still in? How can I style my skinny jeans? How can I make them work? And really here on my channel, as you know, um, we're all about the pieces you already have in your wardrobe and how you can reinvent and reimagine those. So I didn't want to neglect the skinnies and I thought I'd do an entire video today dedicated to some outfit formulas that you can easily apply into your own wardrobes. So for me, skinnies are a bit of a basic really and it's all about, as you'll see through the video, the pieces that you pair them with and how you style these basics to make them feel a little bit more interesting, a little bit more fresh, a little bit more modern and I think you'll find it works. So um, let's get into the video with my outfit number one. So the jeans that I'm going to show throughout the video are these basic ones from Zara. I personally um, have a preference towards like a darker grey jean, not black, but more of a grey. I think they feel again a little bit more modern, but as I say, the aim of the video is all about the skinny jeans you already own. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about what kind of jeans to pick, because the aim of this is to go for the ones you already have and I think all of these outfits can apply to different skinny jeans, whether it's a slightly more cropped one, slightly more longer leg, a light blue wash, a dark blue wash, um, or a darker wash like these. So I'm just starting off with these two basics, the jeans and then a simple top from Uniqlo, this is a round neck. Uh, heat tech one actually and personally I would not leave the outfit at this I think the whole outfit is a little bit too tight because the top is quite fitted I would avoid pairing anything too fitted with your skinny jeans and then just leaving it at that so the first thing I'm going to do and the first thing I want to talk about is shoes and shoes are actually a vital part of today's video I've got on these loafers here and I think a chunky loafer with a skinny jean instantly modernizes them and also adding a sock I think feels a little bit cooler as well so I'd go for this combination with the chunky loafers and then I think we need to balance that chunky with something chunkier on top because as I say I don't like this all tight outfit so here I've gone for this blazer for from my collection with Naked Fashion. I know so many of you have purchased this blazer, so hopefully this will give you some inspo on how to style that. Just a simple blazer, and then if you wanted to, you could play around with layering, and that's something I think is crucial when styling anything really, but particularly a maybe more traditional or not as on trend piece, is to create some interest with layers and different things like that. So I've put this jumper over my shoulder, but again, this could be a useful one if you wanted to wear it as well with the jacket. And then you can finish Finish off with some accessories. Again, I think accessories are absolutely crucial to updating your skinny jeans. So some cool sunglasses. I've got these Loewe ones here. I was a bit naughty and I did just buy these. I've got the white versions and I have been eyeing up this uh, tortoiseshell pair ever since I got the white ones because I love the shape and style so much. Um, so I had to get those. And as you know, I think accessories for me are where I kind of put my investment and also I think they're the pieces that completely transform the outfit altogether. So I've gone for these sunglasses and then finished off with this Loewe bag. Um, so think about those things like have you got a couple more trend-led accessories or statement or bolder accessories that you can pair with your skinny jeans to make them look a bit more modern and then also think about your balance with your chunky loafers maybe and then a maybe more oversized blazer on top and I'm going to show you how you can kind of do this but not with a blazer necessarily later on in the video. So next let's talk about evening and I think a skinny jean looks great tucked into a longer legged boot, especially one that's slightly looser leg. So I've got these Paris Texas ones on, they're not a tight leg and I would personally avoid a tighter leg 
longer boot. I'd go for something that's slightly looser. It doesn't have to be really baggy, but just as long as it's not skin tight, um, because then I think you've got too much tightness at the bottom. So I've gone for these because I think they balance out that skinnier leg really nicely with the slightly wider leg. And then on top again, just creating a bit more of a boxier modern silhouette with this big blouse from Zara. Um, you can finish off with some nice accessories. I've got these new earrings on from Sorry Jewelry. Um, and then this bag from Cult Gaia. Again, thinking about how you can create some interest through your accessories. And I also just really wanted to quickly show this outfit with a different style of boot to show you a bit of a don't look. So I personally would avoid anything, like I say, tight fitting, but also tight fitting and a lower ankle. Again, I just don't think we've got any contrast in proportions. We've got the very, very skinny on the bottom all the way down to the bottom of the boot, which is a pointed low ankle boot that's tighter fitting. It's all one thing at the bottom. And then you've got that outweighed with the oversized top. So you need that longer, um, slightly looser boot to balance that out. And again, just makes it feel a little bit more modern. I think this look with the all tight at the bottom feels a little bit dated. So I wanted to show another evening look. So I decided to go for some tights underneath my jeans this time. Another easy way to wear them in the winter period, which we're in at the moment. So you could do tights or kind of um, some sheer socks. So I've got these and then I decided to go for my Arquette slingback shoes. They just feel really elegant and I really like that contrast between the more traditional skinny jean with something that feels modern fresh but still classic. I think these shoes kind of cross the boundary between both. Um, so I think Again, it's all in the footwear. Look for some footwear that feels, you know, a little bit more contemporary, a little bit cooler to balance out the more traditional skinny jean and then paired it with the blazer. Again, thinking about a boxier silhouette, more modern silhouette, balancing out those traditional jeans and then finish off again with some amazing earrings from Soru. Um, these are from the Something Navy collection collaboration and I think these are so fab. But like I said before, I know I'm gonna keep repeating myself through the video, but accessories. This jewelry really makes a statement and adds something different against the skinnies. So let's talk about knitwear and tops and daytime. I would go again for something more oversized on top. And I would say that's kind of a fundamental rule when you're doing the skinny jeans. So for my first look again, I just wanted to show a bit of a don't look with this oversized knit, skinny jeans. And then I went for some slimmer fitting boots again. And I think you can see instantly the outfit feels very top heavy with this oversized knit. So I personally would go for something more like a longer chunky boot, like the ones I'm wearing here from Russell and Bromley. I just feel like they balance out that oversized top. Um, I'm sure you're sick of hearing me saying that, but I think it's really a fundamental rule to dressing. And then I finish off with this oversized long coat and then hat. Um, I think in terms of coat lengths, you can be quite versatile with this and I'm gonna show you that in the next clip. So I think a long coat works perfectly because we've got the balance with some skinny jeans in the middle. And then I just wanted to show that you can wear an ankle boot with these. So I've gone for these chunkier ones. These are from Flattered. Again, it's all about the chunkiness of the boot, I would say. Um, rather than the length, I would still always go chunky, um, but you could do a knee boot or an ankle boot like I'm doing here. And then just sticking with a looser top, a chunkier jumper again, this one's from Arquette. And then this coat from Cezanne, and I think, what we're seeing here is just the same thing with the skinnier jean and then slightly oversized on top and oversized on the bottom and it's got that nice balance to the outfit. Um, but you can still do this with shorter boots and a shorter coat. So next, I think ballet flats are a really nice one to do with skinny jeans. They give me a bit of an Audrey Hepburn feel, but I think I would try and stick to a flat that feels, again, a little bit more modern, maybe something slightly more trend-led. As you know, I don't really 
invest in trends as such, but maybe more classic pieces with a bit of a twist. So I've got these flats on here with the band across the top, which has been a bit of a trend, but is also a classic timeless piece that you can wear forever. So I've gone for these again, just makes them feel a little bit more fresh. Paired it with um, this striped t-shirt. This to me is a really nice transitional into spring kind of look. And then this trench coat and Similar to all the other outfits, the trench provides something a little bit um, more directional, a little bit more fashion forward against the traditional skinny jeans. And I think that's the crucial way to do it. And I've also given the look a bit of a lift with this belt, but I think because you've got the nice loose trench, you still got that contrast within the outfit. So I wasn't actually going to do trainers, but I thought I would challenge myself at the end of the video to pair the trainers with some skinnies um, because I personally don't love that look. But I wanted to try it out and again show the versatility of your skinnies and how they don't have to be dated um, or sitting in your cupboard collecting dust. Um, you can wear them in so many different ways. So I've gone for these New Balance trainers and then this knit that I'm wearing now with this amazing tie detail and I think what I like about this look is that it ties quite nicely in with the trainers because it feels like I've kind of, it's a bit sportswear with the, I mean, it's not sportswear, but with the tie around the middle, it almost feels like I've just kind of thrown a hoodie around the middle. Feels a little bit more relaxed and it complements the trainers really nicely. And then I finished off with my coat from my collection with Naked, just adding a bit of structure to the outfit. And as always, we've got the slimmer in the middle, chunkier trainers, and then the more oversized chunkier knit and coat on top to create that balance. But I think if you are considering trainers, maybe think about going down a bit more of a sports looks route, a tailored coat, maybe you could go for a cap, um, a sweatshirt, that kind of look to make your jeans feel again a little bit more modern. So hopefully that's been useful, some outfit formulas you can take away, also some inspiration of how to wear your skinnies or you could actually apply all of these looks to more of a straight leg or mom jean if you're not into your skinny jeans um but hopefully that's been useful because i know i get so many questions if it has make sure you're subscribed to the channel give it a thumbs up uh, get me to 700,000 subscribers um it's gonna happen soon i know it um so thank you so much and i'll see you in my next one